Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thanks for coming along. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty. I like to do makeup that is realistic and enhances your natural features. Sometimes I like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways, so if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Okay, so today's video, I decided to try and do something really quick and effective and autumnal. That was the brief I gave myself. I'm not going to spend too long chatting, let's just get straight into the makeup. So first I'm going to set my brows, I'm using my Benefit 24 hour brow setter and just brush up Struggleena first and then the good eyebrow, the good eyebrow. That's not really a very snazzy name is it, especially when you're so well behaved, mama is working on it. Okay and then I'm going to just do my concealer, I am using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Cafe, is that Cafe though? It looks like it's Vermont. Oh no, it is cafe. I have exceptionally dark circles at the moment. I have been working um, on a film the last couple of weeks, which just means <laughs> my wake up time has been two o'clock in the morning, 2.45 on a good day. So I am enjoying my day off today. Still woke up early to do this video. It's like six, six something now, but Six o'clock is a line in comparison to 2 a.m. So yeah, all good. So I popped them on just on my eyelids and in the areas that I want to brighten a little bit as well. And I'm just using this Real Technique setting brush just to blend everything together. For skin today, I'm changing it up. I am using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And I'm just taking this flat top kabuki brush from Stila. I'm just going to buff this on. This is for my non-liquid makeup wearers out there today. I don't always wear foundation. I've been doing it a lot more since I've been doing YouTube. But beforehand, this was my kind of jam. I love this powder because it does give coverage as well. So if you've got like any mild blemishes, it kind of diffuses them. And it's really, you can see it's really quick and easy to do. Just go under my concealer a little bit and then on the forehead. Okay, next we're going to move on to brows. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, I have had this obsession, obsession or this thing for having really like kind of unkempt and um, natural brows. They are still quite natural, but I have shortened them a little bit and made them straighter. So this is the new shape I'm rocking at the moment. I'm just gonna take my, precisely my brow pencil from Benefit in number five and keeping it quite straight on the bottom, filling in the bits that look super gappy, but I'm not obsessing over it. And I'm not gonna give it a really long tail. I'm gonna stop pretty much where my brow ends. So I kind of like the short brow. I haven't done it for a while, but this is one of my favorite shapes. And do the same on this one as well. Okay, brows are on. Next I'm moving to eyes. I am going to use cork lip pencil, bear with me. The regulars know this is nothing new. And I'm gonna use this as a base underneath my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna draw this really soft brown. I don't know if it's picking up on camera because the colour is so similar to my skin, but that's kind of what I wanted. Does that show? Hmm, I don't know. But it shows in real life. And then I'm just going to blend the edge away. Yeah, it does. I think because I've got concealer underneath it as well, it's a bit harder to see. So that's the base for the shadow. Next, I'm taking Swiss Chocolate Blusher from MAC. I'm going to use the same 217 brush and I'm going to use this as my shadow today. So I want to wear a liner. I've got this thing at the moment for eyeliner. I used to wear it all the time. I go through phases basically in makeup. I used to wear it all the time and then I stopped and now I'm like, oh, I actually really like that. So I'm going to talk you through how I do my liner today as well. Oh, this is so pretty. It's really subtle, but that's exactly what I wanted. I don't want to do too much. It's literally one colour all over the lid today. 
Right, I'm going to see if I can come a bit closer so I can show you the eyeliner in more detail. So just wait there, one minute. Okay, sorry for the break in the video, but Mommy. I watched the footage Mommy. back. Yes, bug. I'm too tired. You're too tired. Okay. I watched the footage back and everything was great until I was explaining the eyeliner and doing my demo. And then as I was leaning, I lent out the shot. So um, I've done it again. And I did exactly the same thing the second time, so I'm hoping the third time's a charm, and this time I guess it right. I'm not sure what I'm going to keep of the original video, so I'm just going to explain the whole eyeliner bit again here. Hi, Mummy. Hello, Bug. Hi, Mummy. Hello, Bug. Hi, Mummy. Hello. So I know there are lots of videos and tutorials already out there that are explaining how to do eyeliner, but I think a lot of them miss out a really vital part of doing a winged liner anyway. Um, you need to take into consideration not only just following your waterline, but the gap between your lash line and your crease line. This dictates the kind of flick that you can do. The smaller the gap, generally the thinner the flick you can kind of create. Um, if you have hooded eyes, you can wear a winged liner. It depends on how hooded your eyes are as well, actually, but you can do a winged liner, but it's a completely different technique. I'm going to show you how to do liner on eyes that are a similar shape. Oh no, not really a shape, but have a similar gap between the lash line and the waterline because the shape can be different, but that's the crucial part. So I'm taking this little, let's see if this will show up. Yes, this little pointed definer liner from um, Zoeva. This is a really good brush for doing, <laughs> for doing gel liner. I'm using my Maybelline Lasting Gel Drama Liner in black and just loading up my brush. So this is how I do my liner. I like to work from the flick outwards. So I'm using the, the longer end of the brush and placing that closest to my eye. And then I just like to pull this out and get the wing. Then I turn the, well, I went cross eye bit. Then you, I turn the brush round so that the longer part of the brush is facing outside. Yeah, it's in the shot. And then I do this flick here and pull it in. Then I close my eye and I have to really push down on my lashes because they're really curly. So it can be a bit tricky sometimes to do liner on myself and I try and fill in as much of this as possible. And I just do really tiny sections. And just keep checking to make sure that it's even the whole way along. And then when I get to the inner corner, I make sure that the longer side of the point is on the inside and I pull my liner back to join the line that we've already done. That's how I do my eyeliner. It's probably going to hop back to Mommy, the original uh, video, Mommy, but I just wanted to make Mommy. sure this part was. Yes, bug. Oranges. You want oranges? Finish your apple first and then you can get an orange, okay? You finish your apple? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah, no, leave it on the table. Mummy will come and take it. You leave it there. Good boy. Do you want orange? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, Mummy will get you one. So, yeah, this is how I do my eyeliner. I think I got it this time, so hopefully I don't have to reshoot this again. Okay, I hope that was helpful and you were able to see what I was doing. I only have one lens um, at the moment with my camera, so I just have to move super close and hope for the best. Um, maybe in the future if I get a better camera or a better lens, I can do something a bit more detailed, but that's basically what I do. So I'm just going to quickly finish it off and do this liner too. 
Now I'm gonna move on to my mascara combo. So I'm using my In Extreme. Oh, I need a smaller mirror. In Extreme. No, no, no. Gosh, I, was, I had such a good run of getting that mascara name right. I'm using my Extended Play Giga Black Mascara. Um, for anyone who's new, I like to use this as a lash primer. So I do this as like my first step and then I put on my In Extreme 3D Black Lash Mascara over the top. For blush, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Violet Vibrant Lipstick. As we all know, I like a lipstick as a blush. And just buff that into the cheek. And then finally for lipstick, I'm using this dark brown colour. I, I bought this ages ago from MAC and I don't actually know if they still make this colour but I love it. If they don't make it I will find a alternative, that's the word, and link it for you in my description box. But I really just like the brownness of it. I don't really wear that many brown lipsticks all over so yeah. I'm going to take off my lip balm in a very professional manner. But I have discovered using your fingers is actually better for me anyway than using a tissue or a wipe because sometimes if I use a tissue or a wipe it takes off too much lip balm and then my lips feel dry. So my fingers just leaves the right amount of lip balm on and I'm going to go for it. The colour is digging it so I'll see if they still have it. Just going to check with a smaller mirror that I've gone all the way up to the edges. That's it. I'm really, really tempted to do a second lip and to use a lip pencil on this, but I'm going to stop here because there are some people that maybe wouldn't use a lip pencil and I want to show that it's possible to get like a really polished lip without using a lip pencil. If you find it difficult to use the bullet to put your lipstick on, you can always use a lip brush. That's another easier way or helpful way of putting it on. And that's it. It's an awesome look, but it's really simple. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Also, leave me some comments about what you want to see, especially if you've been watching for a while. Maybe you can see better than I can if there are any gaps in my channel, so that would be really helpful. Also, I do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 p.m. GMT. I will leave my Instagram handle for you here so if you fancy following me that would be awesome. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care guys. Bye.